Hi, this is Taylor Doherty, and I am recording for Megan, reviewing her street photography. So to start, there were many pieces that I noticed that, you know, attracted my attention, and I thought that she generally understood the requirements of the project with, you know, taking pictures of places rather than people. And, you know, with that being said, there were pictures that were taken, you know, at grocery stores or you know, that didn't really capture the full meaning or emotion, you know, sights, sounds, smells, or the people involved. So with that being said, I really did enjoy Megan's artistic elements, you know, with different angles and, you know, different elements that she used. And those elements I noticed were um, single objects, blurred images. Um, you can see here it's blurry. Um, this one is a single object and you know you can tell that she is the focal subject and you know her eyes kind of draw you this way but then you notice there's someone over here so this one I thought that Megan really captured the single subject with also getting the environment and you know the place that she is you know inhabited in so I like this one a lot I thought that she used a great element that we you know focused on with street photography um, you know, Megan also effectively captured a sense of the place in which she was shooting through the edge of the frame. So that was another example of, you know, the edge. She's not centered. Um, this one, you know, they're not very centered as well. You know, they're kind of off to the side. The way his head is tilted, I also thought was um, captivating. And there was many that, you know, they're not in the center, you know, they're more off to the side. And I thought that that made the picture, you know, it brought those elements of photography into her work. And it really made you understand, you know, with them being off centered, the aiming and the focus of the place that she was capturing. So pictures that I really enjoyed to start is this picture of the children playing in downtown Lexington. You know, you can really get a sense of feeling and emotion behind it. And, you know, you can get the different senses, like the sounds. You know, they're probably laughing, you know, playing, um, maybe screaming a little bit. Uh, um, the sights, you know, downtown Lexington. You know, there's a lot going on in this picture. And I think that it also demonstrates, you know, the friendly environment that down of this area in downtown Lexington and that a lot of people hang out there. I thought that Megan did a great job of capturing this specific place. And pictures that I thought may have been weak or could be improved on were the pictures, you know, in the grocery store. You know, there isn't really a symbolic meaning behind them. You know, they're all just shopping for a specific reason. You know, they're all there to, you know, buy groceries. Now, this one I thought maybe could be, you know, a story behind it because it's a family and, you know, they are... They could be talking about either buying groceries or something of a different matter. So I liked this one. I thought that it demonstrated maybe a story. But other than that, I thought that, you know, the images could have been improved by, you know, also this one, you know, adding different black, adding black and white tone. You know, the lighting could have made it a lot better. If a lot of these were black and white, I think that, you know, it could have changed the tone and made the images stand out more. But... I really did enjoy Megan's work, and I'm excited to see what she does this semester, you know, with her improvements, and hopefully she sees, you know, from this peer review that she has been doing a great job with the different elements of photography. It just maybe might be focusing on different places to capture images and using different edits or different angles. So thank you.